Villageville in Baldwin County, hundreds of people and several businesses dealing with low water pressure or no water at all. Jessica Cha talked with folks up there about a very draining start to the final week of this year. According to the city and county managers, folks and businesses north of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive have been without water since Sunday night. Neighbors in the Country Club Estates area say that there are about 100 houses that have no water, but they say they're managing. No clothes washing, no showers, no, you know. Merritt Massey has lived in the Country Club Estates for over two decades. He says they're no strangers to the water outages, but... But not in the past 12 months. And so this is kind of a new event for us. Massey says their water went out around 11 Sunday night. 15 hours later, the tap is still dry. We have been going over to a neighbor's swimming pool and getting buckets of water to where we can flush the toilets. Massey has also been going with neighbor Sean Verton to the lake nearby to collect water. Verton says he lost his water around 9 p.m. I mean, you know, with small kids and no water, that's a little rough, but we got bottled water enough to last a couple of days. And Verton says he drove to Eatonton to pick up more bottled water and shelves were empty. He says they're OK for now, but will eventually need to find somewhere else to go if the water doesn't turn on soon. That's still last resort. You don't want to be away from home. We got pets and we're hoping we can wait it out. Massey says he knows there are folks whose pipes have burst and are in much worse condition. Right now, all bets are off until they find the water main break. County manager Carlos Tobar says that there are around 200 people in the county who don't have access to water. City manager Hank Griffith says they're not sure how many are affected in Milledgeville. But businesses like Sucheros and Starbucks on North Columbia Street shut down for the day because of the water problems. In Milledgeville, Jessica Cha, 13 WMAZ News. And Griffith says they isolated the problem area, still looking for the break so they can fix it. He says they do not know when service could be restored. Jones County issued a water advisory today. They say the supply simply is not meeting the demand.